Hey guys, I promised y'all that I'd start coming back with uh, doing some videos. Uh, once I got a lift, as you can see, I still don't have a lift. Uh, for some reason, COVID's got things really messed up right now. But I am doing this timing job on this 5.43 valve, and I know I got a 4.62 valve uh, timing job, or it might have been a 5.42 valve. I don't remember which. But either way, um, I got this 5.43 valve. I wanted to touch over with you guys and uh, explain some pointers and uh, things like that. Uh, as I said before in some other videos, I've had these motors disassembled and completely rotated the crank, put everything back together and it was fine. I've had a guy break a chain, bring it in. We just put the chains on and it was fine. So in my personal opinion, this is not an interference motor. If you go to some Ford engineering sites, they mention a time or two here and there that they are also not an interference motor. Um, however, a lot of people say they are interference. Now, I cannot say the same thing about a two valve. A two valve is absolutely interference and you will bend a valve if you break a chain, rotate the crank, anything uh, with those taken apart. So with that being said, this guy came in, he had a broken timing guide here and timing guide there, not abnormal, just a little bit of noise, nothing major. He didn't want to put any money into it too much. He just wanted to do the least amount as possible. He plans on buying a, uh, a, a new motor later on, depending on how long this lasts, da, 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 da. So I said, well, we could change the guys, the tensioners, and just keep your phasers in your chain if you want to do that. Now, I understand some shops frown upon this and they don't want to go into an engine unless they're going to get the absolute most out of it and do the most work. This is a friend of mine. We've been friends since God kids. So, you know, I don't mind helping some people out. Uh, he's had a really bad time recently uh, with the loss of his brothers and, you know, some other things. That's not my business to tell, but he's just had a bad time. And on his way to his mother's when his brother got killed on a motorcycle wreck, his timing started making a lot of noise and he called me. And uh, I said, look, man, I will help you out for sure. Absolutely. Just get it to me. And so here we are. So as you could tell, we reused the timing chains. So the uh, marks on the timing chains, typically uh, are, these are different colored. And all I did was because they were older chains and they ain't that old, they're like five years old. So we just went ahead and just put some white paint on it where it was supposed to be. This is factory phasers. So as you could tell right there, you got a left side, left bank. And as I mentioned before, in, uh, in, in that 4.6, uh, or I, I don't even, I don't remember if it's 4.6 or, or, or 5.4, but in the two valve engine motor, I told you if you're sitting in the driver's seat, your right hand side would be your right hand bank, your left hand side would be your left bank. It's not when you're facing the motor. So we got, if we're sitting in the truck, this is our left bank. We got our left mark directly up and in between these two marks. You go to the right hand side on the factories there's going to be a l Let's see if i can get that you can see it right there there's an l it's upside down here and then there's a dot or a, a small line right there and that's on the factory ford motorcraft phasers or I, I don't know if they use motorcraft but it's the factory ford phasers um so with that being said, the right hand bank is going to, you're going to line it up with the line, not with the L. That's going to be your left hand bank. So your right hand bank is just going to be that. Now on the aftermarket phasers, it will actually have an L and an R. This is not the same. All right. So let's do this. This is the best way to do this. If you can see in my mirror, if I can get it lined up for you properly. You got the dot straight down and you got the white mark on the dot. Now the single uh, color coded chain link is gonna go on the crank and the dual chain link or the double uh, chain link discoloration is gonna go on the cam gears. So we got that lined up. Now, as I also mentioned before, uh, 
I don't line it up that way. I line up my Woodruff key on the oil pump. Uh, there's a certain groove on the oil pump and that's how I line it up. You can go back and watch the other video and I explain that. It's the exact same procedure pretty much. The only difference is this has got two phasers. So uh, you got the double lines or double marks, I'm sorry. Then you got the single mark. Both single marks on this chain, on this, uh, on the chains have to be lined up with that. And I'm gonna see if I can make it where you can see it. Yes, so you can see both chain links are lined up on that dot right there. All right. Now, if you're doing this time and job, you don't have to have a cam holding tool. That's, that's stupidity. What I do is I put my ratchet on this cam gear because that cam gear over here is gonna line up almost perfectly. This, this cam gear right here, sorry, my wife is yelling at me in the background. This cam gear right here is going to kind of want to go over this way a little bit. So you just tighten it down just a slightly as you're lining your chain up on this. It is a little aggravating if you ain't used to it. Next thing, tone ring. Remember in the other video, I said, do not put that tone ring facing backwards. I have so many people that do that and call me and say, man, I can't get my stuff running. That tone ring has a front and a rear. If you see right, my phone is not wanting to focus whatsoever. Right there, it says front. You can hardly see that. But either way, that's irrelevant. If it's dirty, just look at the teeth. The teeth face frontwards, the flat side of it is gonna go to the back. That's it for the timing on a 5.43 valve. Now, one day, and I've been saying this, and I'm sorry, I'm waiting on a lift. I'm waiting on a few other things to get finished up around here in the new shop. But one day I will be doing that job completely and from top to bottom and letting you watch. Uh, but for now, I'm just trying to give you the idea. If you get it broken down, this is how you put it back together. And then from that point or this point, you just put all your stuff back together the same. Make sure you have nothing left in the valleys of your uh, heads. Uh, I run a magnet through it and I also clean them really good. Uh, some people like to go ahead while they're at this point and change all the valve, uh, not valves, but the uh, lash adjusters. Jesus Christ, I couldn't think for a second. Uh, they like to change the lash adjusters or some people call them lifters. Uh, they're practically the same thing. Uh, and they also like to change our cams out. Like I said, we're not doing that in this video. So if, uh, if there's any questions, please feel free to comment. Uh, if there's anything I can do to help, I do it all the time. I do not mind helping you. I do not mind getting on the phone with you and walking you through certain processes. Uh, so please, if you need anything, reach out to me in the comment section and I'll do whatever I can to help you out. Y'all have a good one.